We've got an inductor assortment, some dip headers, some four millimeter banana uh, jacks, and some jumpers. It's like cooking a fine meal. Only one thing missing, and that's a circuit board to put them all in. I got those two. But let's go back in time and talk about what all this is about. Hey, what's happening, guys? Happy New Year 2021. Hope this is better than the last one. <laughs> so, anyway, I was gifted this uh, inductor set, and I thought, what, what can I do with all these inductors? Because I don't use inductors all that much. You know, they'd probably be around for years, and they, and they probably still will be, even though I've used, what, 20 of them. I thought, how about an inductor substitution board? Because I was talking to my friend Barry in Florida uh, about a week or so ago. And he was working on an old AM type radio, and he had to make some uh, inductor adjustments. So what if you had a board where you could you know, swap them in and out like a uh, you know, resistor or a capacitor thing? So came over here and drew it up. You can see we have uh, values here from one microhenry. Ah, come on. Down to four. 47 millihenries. Now the way I've got this planned out is I've got two four millimeter banana connectors. One goes in parallel to all the inductors. One side of them. The other side goes to this uh, dip header and then goes to connector B. So you put a jumper across these headers and you can switch your inductor values. So here is the PC board that I drew up. Pretty simple. And here's a rendering. So you're going to see when I build this, there's a slight problem. I put these inductors too close together, so I ended up having to vertically stagger them to make it work but not a big deal if there's any interest in this and we make a version two i'll fix it there okay so i designed these boards as you can see here on december 17th sent them out and i got them back the other day you know pretty good so you can see we have markings for all the inductors our header and uh Two banana jacks. Man, there ain't nothing to it, right? All right, let me build one of these.
there she is I swapped out the green jacks for yellow so that they match you know steeler colors and whatnot and as you can see I had to stagger the height of the inductors to get everything in there so let's give them a test all right we got the LCR meter out I zeroed it plug her in now it's on one Oh, some capacitance. Dumbass, Paul. Reading a little high. All right, let's go to 10. Again, it's reading a little high. Go to 100. Yeah, probably just a meter. There's one milli Henry. 1.3. Yeah, it's reading good. It works as expected. Not much more to say about that, is there? All right. I will make this file downloadable on the PCB Way website. I'd like to thank them again for sponsoring this video. Be a short ad at the end of this if you guys want to watch, learn a little bit about the different types of surface finishes. This finish is HASL. And if you want to know what that means, watch the little clip at the end. All right. Happy New Year 2021. Let's hope it's a better one. That's it. I'm out. Peace. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Check them out. You get five boards for five bucks in about a week, not including shipping. One thing I wanted to point out today is when ordering your boards, you have a large choice of surface finishes. So how do you decide what you need? Do you need gold? No, probably not. Here are what all those uh, letters mean. Hot air solder level, that's your basic, lead free organic solderability preservative immersion silver immersion tin electroless nickel immersion gold blah 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 so if you come down here and I'll put a link to this this is Tempo Automation website it'll tell you what the attributes of each one of these surface finishes are I'm not going to go into all these things but basically you can take a look at the chart and say you know I need a uh, I need something that's not going to corrode and is going to last a long time. So you have a uh, shelf life. Okay, we don't have anything for. Okay, uh, handling sensitivity. So uh, you know you can choose something like Enig or Enapig. Any of those will work for you.